you know, First John chapter 5, verses 12 and 13, it says, He that hath the Son hath life. And he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God. What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. That ye may know that ye have eternal life. I want to talk to you about a no soul salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of our life changing king. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. A no soul salvation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. As we exited the resurrection Sunday season, I was looking at the book of Acts to see what did the early church do right after the resurrection and ascension of Jesus Christ. What did they do to go forward? What comes next after salvation? Amen. Hallelujah. And what I discovered, amen, is that they gathered together and encouraged one another and taught one another, breaking bread from house to house to make sure that people were firm, fixed, stable, established, rooted, and grounded in their faith. Amen. 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 To make sure people knew what they got when they got Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And that's what I want to do today. I want to make sure that you know, but know, but know, hallelujah, deep down in your knower, hallelujah, that you got, that you saved and you got Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. It shouldn't be a maybe so, think so, could be possibly thinking. It should be a no so. I know I'm saved. Amen. Amen. I know. I know I'm saved. Amen. Hallelujah. And by the end of the day's message, I pray that you know if you didn't know before, amen, now you will know. Hallelujah. A no so salvation. Amen. amen. And we're not going to go from away from this verse of scripture very much. We're going to stay right here in 1 John chapter 5. Hallelujah. But I do want to say that if you have a no so salvation, the first thing I want to mention is you know when you got saved. Amen? Amen. 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 You know when you got saved. You may not know the date. You may not know the time, the hour. You may not even know the month, but you know the occasion. You know when you made a conscious decision in your heart to receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen? Because you were tired, sick and tired of being sick and tired. You were tired of living the way you were living and you decided something's got to change. Amen? Hallelujah. You know when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. And if you don't know, amen, if there wasn't a Kairos moment, that happened in your heart? <coughs> Amen? You need to get to the altar today. Amen. You need to cement this as your time when you say, I know I received the Lord Jesus Christ. I know according to what Deacon just read, Romans chapter 10, verses 9 and 10, that I believed in my heart and I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, the Son of God, was raised from the dead and I accepted him into my heart heart. Amen. You gotta know when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 For some of us, it's a little easier than others. Amen. For some of us, hallelujah, we know what we were before we got saved. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And some of you, amen, I know y'all were born saved. Amen. Or <laughs> was born on the pew. And you may have a struggle of remembering exactly when, but there should be, even for you, Amen. A time when you say, I know what I believe. Amen. 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 A no so salvation. Amen. You got to know what you believe. Amen. I liken it to knowing my kid's birthday, knowing our anniversary. These are things that are important to me. And if I don't know or remember when I got saved, then maybe my salvation is not that important to me. And if you don't know when you got it, 
you won't know when you lose it. You gotta know deep down in your heart, know in your knower that you're saved. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And an also salvation also knows the cost of salvation. So it knows the worth of salvation. You know what it costs, so you don't want to lose it. Amen? Amen. 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 You know, hallelujah, that you're saved. Therefore, you do what you have to do to maintain it. Amen? Amen. 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 I mentioned to you before my 2004 Cadillac Escalade. Amen. With over 200,000 miles. <laughs> Amen. The reason that it's still running like a dream. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> It's because you maintain it. You got to do what you got to do to maintain your salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. That includes daily prayer. Because seven days without prayer makes one week. That includes weekly church. Amen. Because the more you miss church, the less you miss church. Amen? Amen. That's good. And that includes periodic and occasional repentance. Amen? Where every now and then, hallelujah, you just have a get real moment with the Lord and you repent for some things. Amen? Hallelujah. There may be only He and no, you know that you do, but you got to do what it takes to maintain your salvation. Hallelujah. You need to have a no-so salvation yes, yes. where you can, as the deacon is prayed, both go before the throne of grace knowing, hallelujah, that God hears and will answer your prayers. Why? Because you know that you haven't let your relationship slip. Hallelujah. You got to know so. Salvation. I know in whom I have believed and I know, hallelujah, where my citizenship lies is in heaven. I know, hallelujah, even like Jesus said in Lazarus' tomb, hallelujah, I know that God hears me, hallelujah. I know, hallelujah, where I'm going when I leave this life. I know it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to know, hallelujah, what you believe and you got to know, hallelujah, that you're saved. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And if you know that you saved, hallelujah, you protect and you guard your salvation. You guard your heart. Hallelujah. Put the word of God in your heart because that's where the issues are. Hallelujah. Out of your heart is where the issues of life flow from. Amen. So you put the word in your heart because you're guarding it. That's why you pray daily. That's why you go to church weekly. That's why you repent, hallelujah, periodically. That's why you put the time in to maintain your salvation because it's too valuable to lose it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It costs Jesus everything. Mm -hmm. It costs Jesus everything. Jesus Christ, hallelujah, who was here before the foundation of the world and was the one that created the world, hallelujah, released his position in the heavenlies to come down on earth in the form of a man like you and me. Limited by time and space. Knowing what it feels like to be tired, to be hungry, even tempted. That's right. But he did it for me. He became a mediator of a better covenant established on better promises. Hallelujah. Because he came and made a great exchange where his loss became my gain. He did it for me. Hallelujah. He was bruised for our transgressions. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And by his stripes, hallelujah, I'm healed. He did it for me. Hallelujah. He died on an old rugged cross. Hallelujah. And descended into the lower parts of the earth. Hallelujah. He did it for me. I know what it cost him. Hallelujah. So I know what it means to me. Hallelujah. I know so salvation. 
I don't take it lightly what Jesus did. Hallelujah. So I won't take it lightly, hallelujah, that I have to maintain my relationship, my salvation relationship with him. Amen? Amen. 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 Somebody's saying, preacher, you know, you don't have to go to church to maintain your salvation. That's true. But you don't have to live in the same house to be married. Mm -hmm. But how I many of you know that after a while, it's going to affect your relationship a little bit if you don't spend some time together. Amen. Amen. If you don't invest something into your relationship, if investing a little bit of gas and a little bit of time to come into the church to hear the word of God is too much for you to invest in your salvation, it makes me question and wonder, do you really have a no-so salvation? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. But you always preach these messages to the people that are here in the church, don't you? <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. The people that are here that have invested time, talent, gifts, money, possessions. Amen. Attention into hearing the word of God. I appreciate it. Amen. Hallelujah. That's the eternal work of Jesus that lets me know, hallelujah, that my salvation is worth it. Amen. But I also have the internal work of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says he cries in my heart. Abba, Father. God is your Father. You got to know so salvation. He's in my heart. and I, He pricks my heart. Amen. At times when I do things I know I'm not supposed to do. Amen. Hallelujah. Even if I override the conviction. Amen. I still feel it. I got to know so salvation. It costs Jesus everything. So it means everything to me. Amen. That I'm saved. Amen. 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 It means everything that he would become my high priest and make one sacrifice that would suffice for the rest of my life for everything I ever did in the past, everything, hallelujah, I'll ever do in the future. His sacrifice was enough. Oh, yes, it was. Now, does that mean that I go and commit the sin? No. But it means that, hallelujah, if I slip, trip, and fall, I can get up again. Hallelujah. And no, hallelujah, that I'm saved. Amen. 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 And no so yes. salvation. Amen. Third point. The no so salvation knows what it got saved from. Again, for those of you who were born holy, this might be a little more difficult. <laughs> For some of us, we know what we got saved from. If you meet people that you knew years ago and they look at you and say, you ain't the same, it's because you got saved. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Some of us, God has changed our name. Hallelujah. Because we're not the same. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Some of us used to be live, no good, dog, she <laughs> You know, those are the <laughs> Of course that's nobody. Not nobody. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. I think only maybe me and Deacon Roger can be identified with some of this. Amen. Hallelujah. We know what we got saved from. And there's no shame in it. Amen. Hallelujah. I know what I got saved from. Amen. Amen. To the point, hallelujah, that sometimes I don't even recognize me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The me that I used to be before my wife knew me. Amen. Amen. Before I followed her to church. Amen. Amen. Went to a little white church called Fellowship Prayer Temple. Amen. Trying to hit on this young lady. I thought I'd get even good <laughs> by going to church. <laughs> Not knowing that when I went into the church, that God would have a conversation with me. I remember it like it was yesterday. I don't even remember the message, but I remember God talking to me. And at the end 
I assume it was the end of the message. It was close to the end of the service anyway. I found myself walking to the front of the church building. Because there was something in me that said, I got to get saved. And that same hunger, that same thirst, that same desire for Jesus is still burning in me today. Yes, amen. And I know beyond the shadow of a doubt something happened. Amen. amen. I know, hallelujah, that God saved me because I was not the same. I got to know so salvation. As the old saints would say, you can't make me doubt him. I know too much about him. I know I got saved. Amen. 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 I know I got saved. Hallelujah. And so I know what I need to do. I need to maintain my relationship with him. Daily prayer. Weekly church. Because if you miss church a few times, amen, you may not think it's noticeable, but even other people know. <laughs> other people know when you're letting your relationship slip. And no so salvation. I quoted it, but I'm going to go ahead and read it. It says, Romans chapter 6, verses 1 and 2. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? No, my salvation means too much for that. God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? You're too good for that. If you're saved, hallelujah, you're too good for that. Hallelujah. There's some things that are beneath you. Amen. Amen. Are you saying that I'm better than other folks preaching? No, you're not better than anybody, but you're different than everybody. Hallelujah. And you're, hallelujah, who God created you to be. So there's something in you, hallelujah, that wants to do what God has called you to do. And you, hallelujah, will maintain your relationship with Jesus Christ no matter what. No matter what the devil tempts you with. No matter what you're drawn away from. Hallelujah. Or drawn away by. You know what you got saved from. So you can't go back to it. Amen. Hallelujah. If that means going down a different aisle in the grocery store. So you don't go past the magazine rack. Let me help somebody out. Amen. If that means not going into the neighborhood by the people that you used to be around. Amen. If that means, amen, don't even look in the J.C. Penney's catalog in the underwear model section, amen. Whatever it is you got to do to remove yourself from the sin that you used to be in, you got to protect your salvation. Hallelujah. You got to know so salvation. Hallelujah. And your relationship with Jesus is too valuable. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. Your eternal Destiny is too important yes, it is. for you to be drawn in and sucked back into what you used to be and what you used to do. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And for some, it's instantaneous. Mm -hmm. Some of us had to struggle through the thing for a while. But I'm telling you, don't stop fighting. You don't lose until you stop fighting. Amen. Hallelujah. As long as you're fighting the urges, you win. Amen. I remember once I was talking with somebody and they had expressed to me that they were struggling with thoughts of homosexuality. I said, that's good. As long as you're struggling. Mm -hmm. As long as you're fighting. As long as you are not giving in to the things that are tempting you, calling you, baiting you, trying to get you to walk away from your salvation relationship with Jesus Christ. As long as you're fighting, you're winning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because you're fighting because you know that you're saved. Amen. Hallelujah. And I will not give up easily. No soul salvation. You know what you got saved from. 
You know what you got saved from because that's what the devil will come and tempt you with. I'm reminded of the book of Exodus where the Bible says that Moses said to Pharaoh, we're going out into the wilderness to sacrifice to our God. He said, you can go out, but you'll be back. That's the devil thinks. He thinks that he's got you like a yo-yo on a string. He thinks that he's got you, amen. He thinks he's got you. But that's because he don't know what you know. And you got to know soul salvation. Hallelujah. And you know what you got saved from. And you know what you been saved to. Amen. Amen. And I know we've got the eternal promise of heaven waiting for us. But how many of you know that if you got to know soul salvation, you know, hallelujah, that you got eternal life because eternal life doesn't start when you get to heaven. That's right. Eternal life starts here. That's good. Eternal life starts now. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. It's called the Zoe life. Let's go to first. Uh, let's go to John. John's Gospel, chapter 10. As you find your place there, I wanted to read from 1 John chapter 5 again. These things that are written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the Son of God. It says, These things have I written unto you that ye believe on the name of the Son of God, and then the last part says that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Isn't that repetitive? It says the same thing twice. It's saying you're already doing it. You're already doing it. Don't let the devil convince you that you can't do what you're already doing. I write unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. Keep doing what you're doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. John's Gospel, chapter 10. John 10, 10 says this, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That's his MO. Amen. Hallelujah. He don't love you. He don't even like you. Amen. 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 I am come, Jesus said, that they might have life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That word life. Amen. Hallelujah. The same life that John says that you have if you have the Son of God. That life is Zoe. Amen. The Zoe life. The Greek word Zoe, it means the best life, the blessed life, abundant life, hallelujah, eternal life. It's not a life that starts after you die, hallelujah, but it's a life, hallelujah, that starts when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ and decide to live. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, a life, hallelujah, where he takes your morning and turns it to dancing. A life, hallelujah, where he takes your sickness, hallelujah, and causes you to be healed. It's a life, hallelujah, where he takes everything and makes it work together for your good, hallelujah. It's a good life. I know I'm saved, hallelujah. Why? Because I'm living the good life. Amen, hallelujah. I'm living the good life where life is better, hallelujah, better and better and better all the time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I never would have thunk it. <laughs> Hallelujah. The life could keep getting better and better and better. Amen. 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 But hallelujah, that's the Zoe life of God. Amen. Hallelujah. I never would have thought that I could keep getting better. I never would have thought I could keep looking better. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. No, but I never would have thought life would keep getting better, but that's the Zoe life. <laughs> the path of righteousness that, like the light of dawn, grows brighter, brighter. Yeah. and brighter yeah. and brighter to the full day. Yeah. Hallelujah. 
where he leads me, hallelujah, from green pastures to greener pastures. Hallelujah. So that I'm now waiting until, hallelujah, I get to heaven to experience, hallelujah, the one that heaven sent, hallelujah, and what heaven has to offer me right here. Amen. Open windows of heaven being poured out to me, hallelujah, because of my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, I know I'm saved. Hallelujah. Because life keeps getting better and better. Does that mean nothing bad ever happens? No, that just means that whatever bad happens, God takes it and makes it work together for my good. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. He takes lemons and makes it into lemonade. Amen? Amen. Lemon meringue pie. Hallelujah. And lemon cake. All of them. Amen? <laughs> Hallelujah. He causes me to always triumph. Yeah. Even though sometimes I go through battles, skirmishes, I still always triumph. I know I'm saved. Because I was never living like this before. I know I'm saved. Hallelujah. Because I got the joy of the Lord, the peace of God. Where I once was depressed. Where I once was discouraged. I know I'm saved. Because he's fixed my mind. And renewed my mind. I got a no soul salvation. So I'll do anything. To protect it and preserve it. Because his salvation is too important. To me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know? Yes, sir. Do you know? Yes. Do you know, hallelujah, that Jesus saved you? Amen. Hallelujah. If you know so, hallelujah, let me hear you say, hallelujah. 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 Yes. hallelujah. I know so. And if you're not sure, don't leave this service, don't leave this building. Without receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior and your Lord. Yeah. Making the conscious decision to say, I'm in this all the way. I want Jesus Christ to be Lord over my life. Amen. If you're not sure, hallelujah, say this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ. I believe in my heart and I say with my mouth that Jesus Christ died for my sins and rose again. Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and change my life for the rest of my life. I believe that if you prayed that simple prayer, if you prayed that simple prayer, then you just made Jesus Christ your Savior and your Lord. You just made a life-changing decision to change the course of your life. You can't change what you did. But you can change what you're doing. You can't change where you've been. But you can change where you're going. You can't change the past. Hallelujah. But you just changed your future. Hallelujah. By receiving the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you for who you are. I love you for you the Jesus Christ that loved you so much that he gave his life. And he continues to care so much about you, hallelujah, that he'll remind you, hallelujah, of his love for you. Abba Father, God is your Father. The Jesus Christ 
hallelujah, that loves you so much, hallelujah, that he'll deliver you from the things that plague you, hallelujah, and he'll bless you, and bless you, and bless you, and bless you, hallelujah, so you know, you know that you got saved, hallelujah, today, if you said that prayer today, you change your life today, hallelujah, and Hallelujah. I know in my heart of hearts that I'm saved. 